This is Awkward Occurrence, Awkward Entertainment, so I'm going to speed through this as quick as possible. We're going to be talking about <clears throat> Michael Long and his belief, his spiritual belief. Um, He says in a recording he went to Tibet, something about seeing monks, was it monks? Also, he knows magic. Uh, he's master magic. He can. He told his ex-wife he can put spells on her. If they were still together, he can teach her magic. Um, that the, his daughter Sophie is an angel. Um, he was gonna buy her a doll. Okay, the doll with the feathers. I don't really see that too much of a problem. But teaching her magic. Um, that's your parental discretion or consent to teach your child, um, a new age belief. That's what, um, any spiritualism outside of Christianity, anything outside of Christianity having to do with chanting, laying your head on their forehead, them acting all funny, taking DMT, is it DMT? Anything outside, anything outside of Jesus Christ is magic. Consider magic. But let's get into his beliefs. He went to Tibet and met some monks. Now, Ashley, we're going to look at some testimony. Some testimony. This is about Kundalini awakening. So this lady went through a Kundalini awakening. Um, she's against it. She has some horrible, horrible problems with it. This relates to Mr. Michael Long because this monk Buddhist belief he has that his kids are angels and he's um, somehow Harry Potter. Let's play this video, watch a few minutes, and move on to the next one. So she's now out of it, out of Kundalini. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley, and I've created a few videos here on YouTube about my experience, how Jesus Christ saved me from New Age meditation and becoming psychic. And I'm not a Bible teacher, but I'm sharing my experience um, and more details today. As you can tell by the title, this is about physical demonic possession. And just to be transparent from the get-go, yes, this did happen to me personally. In this video, I'm also going to be talking about the experience of um, when this evil spirit was cast out of me by a born-again Christian. Um, in the past videos, I discussed meditating, uh, New Age type of meditation, and doing yoga from January 2019 to mid-May 2019. And I discussed having my last meditation session experiencing being in the presence of an evil spirit who said it could give me whatever I wanted, and as long as I bowed to it. And I explained the rest of my testimony. Um, so now I feel led to share the details about the physical demonic possession that occurred uh, at that same time. So are unclean spirits, evil spirits, real? Yes, they are. Um, they are also known as devils, and some people call them demons. And um, they can possess a body physically, because this happened to me. Um, two quick Bible verses. James 2.19 says, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. And that's because 
God is real, Jesus is real, and even these evil spirits know that. They also believe this. And Luke 8, 1 through 2 says, And it came to pass afterward that he went through every city and village, preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. And certain women which he had which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. So I'm saying that before I go into my experience so that you can see that this is in the Bible. So I'm going to fast forward. So how many devils do you think Michael Long has in him? I've seen the comments on the um, Miss Katie Joy video. She's the one that recorded she didn't record the audio. She released the audio of Miss My, Mr. Michael Long talking to his daughter, 2017. So how many spirits do you think he has in him? But the comments under that video suggest he's a little off like Lori Vallow. And they're worried about um, Sophie. But let's continue. I'm going to fast forward through some of this. Whoa. I'm going to see what this part is. Oh, this is weird. Um, then my body came up, and I thought, okay, like, I don't know what is happening. Then it goes down again the second time. When my body went down the second time, it got stuck. So my head was on the ground. And my alarm on my phone started to beep to get out of the meditation. So my phone beeped for me to get out of the meditation and end that. And sometimes meditations lead to astral, astral traveling. That's when um, supposedly, allegedly, your spirit leaves your body and you're able to see outside your body and move around. Uh, the problem with that is something could jump in your body at your return, and that's when you get a little schizophrenic. That's when you go a little cuckoo schizophrenic. Let's continue. Time. However, I could not move, so I couldn't lift my hands. Um, from my knees I couldn't lift my head off of the ground and I was saying get out like get up I have to move like my kids are down the hall like they have to go to school like I have to get them ready they're gonna find me here what if they find me stuck what if they find me dead am I dying like what is happening and um, in the other video I mentioned how this is where I was wondering this is this from God because I haven't ever been taught this and would Jesus move my body? I was questioning. So after, um, a f it was a f it felt like a few seconds, but it also felt like forever. I'm stuck like downward, like so. If this is my body and my head is this way, like it feels like I'm just one, and this thing comes out of me. So it's kind of like it goes off of my back, like it just comes out of me. And I thought, whoa, like that is crazy. And I sit up and I'm able to move. I just go about my day. I get my kids out to school. I don't want to worry anyone. Like I don't know what's happening. Who's going to believe me? So I cancel my appointments for that morning for work. I go to a close family member's house and I'm asking him, what, what is this? Why did this happen? And we don't know. Like, I, we didn't come to any conclusion. So, another family member um, had a friend who I had talked to in the past who is a psychic. She does tarot card readings. She's into crystals. I thought, surely she'll know. So, I talked to her, and um, I called her, and she's like, oh. and It's not good to be in, into all that divination. She just listed three things. Her sister friend or her friend friend was into. That's divination. Not very good. Oh yeah, this is part of the supernatural. You're becoming enlightened. Like this is what happens when you come into your spiritual gifts as a psychic. Like these things can happen. Like it's normal. And I was like, whoa, okay, so maybe I am supposed to be psychic, but I don't like something moving my body. So I'm going to keep praying. So I kept praying to Jesus and things just started getting worse. All of the things I was hearing before from spirit guides, this music that seemed really pretty, um, all this beautiful sounding 
evil stuff um, turned into more of its its real presentation, which was evil, and it started attacking me. I started hearing the stuff I described in my other videos, like screaming, growling, hissing, very devilish sounds that were haunting me and terrorizing me, and I was becoming anxious, and I couldn't sleep, and I wanted to... Yeah, let's fast forward through this. I got one more video, and I'm in. Done with this. Among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And that's what she did. And within, I mean, I don't know how long she was here. It could have been an hour or two. Um, it wasn't like an exorcism like you'd see in a movie. Like, she wasn't just, like, yelling at me or anything. We were just praying and talking and sitting and, like, getting information about the Bible and praying with my mom and getting, she, they were anointing me and praying over me. It was like peaceful. It was the most comfort I'd had in, in weeks. And um, I felt this evil spirit leave me. So at this point, I didn't even think I had anything else inside of me, but I did. I felt this burning. There's no words to describe it humanly, but, like, if I had to pick something, it'd be, like, heartburn. Like, it was, like, burning, and it started to, like, move. And um, I was in shock. I was like, oh, no, like, something is happening. Like, what is happening to me? And... Okay, I had to stop her there. But the gist of, this, of her experience is... She left all that alone. I guess she tried to combine spiritualism with Jesus Christ. And as we just heard, her story didn't go well. <clears throat> Alright, this is a fella. I forget where he's from. But he did Kundalini Awakening. More Tibetan, Buddhist, different type of monk stuff and Buddhism. So he did a technique with breathing for a while and things just got out of control. So let's get right into this one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I want to make a video, y'all, on Kundalini, activating Kundalini, the dark side of it. I'm going to just jump right into it. I'm not even going to go into like this whole big story of when and why I wanted to do it, okay? I got into Kundalini. Read up on it, did a little research on it. I decided to do it. I did this one called Breath of Fire Kundalini. And then after I did that, I did uh, the one uh, Kundalini and Meditation. This took two hours total. Two hours. No more, no less. Two hours. Actually, two hours and something like ten minutes. I did this every day for from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. I did it for a total of, what's that, five, six, seven, eight days. Total of eight days straight. Doing this two hours in the morning every single day. It's with breathing <laughs> through the nose. and uh, through, through the nose, out the nose. <laughs> Fast, slow, medium. And you repeat me. I did that first. And then after that, I, this is when I felt the kundalini arising through my back, through my through my crown, my root chakra, all the way up to my like like a uh, snake rising all the way up. And chakra would be new age terminology, and he talks about a snake rising up through his back, to his head. But um, don't tread on me, Sophie. T-shirts are on sale. Don't tread on Sophie. Um, snake T-shirts are on sale. Also, stand, stand with Sophie, stand with Sophie. But this is about Michael Long and the belief system that he was under or currently still is under, and how it may have psychological repercussions, bad psychological repercussions. And it do it rise like a snake just you feel it like that going through the vertebrates and it and it's supposed to go to the top of your head well mine got to the back of my cranium to the back of my head for those who don't know what the cranium is. so got to the back of my head i didn't care i'm, I'm not gonna give the reason the, the details of why i didn't care y'all because i don't want to make this video too long you know so 
Uh, I did it every day. I was excited about it. I did it every day. Come the next week, because I did it every day for five days. Come next week, I did it. That next Monday, that next Tuesday, that next Wednesday. Well, that next Wednesday is when things start getting interesting. Things start uh, changing in my body. That Wednesday night, as I wind up laying to go to sleep, because I have to go to work in the morning. I'm laying there, and I'm about to go to sleep. I want to go to sleep. I close my eyes. I'm laying there. Next thing you know, I start, my body starts being alert. It's highly alert. If, if 100 was the uh, max of alertness, my body was at 110 then. My body is extremely alert. I got my eyes closed still. As it's alert, I'm start, I start seeing images. In, in my, with my eyes closed, I start seeing these images. Images that I can't even explain. Images of... Uh, um, and it was like a, a, a rupus cube. You know how you could turn it like sideways and all like that, and this and they be on different sides. This is what I'm seeing. Like in my head, that's how it was. Like what I'm seeing is it's like, and it's like my my vision or third eye in my head. It, it had to be the third eye was activated, and it was going through like a rupus cube, like and then stop, and then as it stopped, boom, images start coming flying in. So we're going to fast forward a little. Um, he goes on to say for about a year, his body, entire body, would be in a burning sensation. And he contemplated uh, contemplated suicide, or contemplated, however you may say it. In the end, in the end, he ended up coming to God. Um, all the pain stopped, but it took over a year for that demon to leave his body. So let's see if I can fast forward. And now I ain't got to do nothing. It was just happening. Every thought I had, it was happening. Head itching badly, stinging. Ah, ah. Feeling, like I said, feeling like somebody shocking me with, and, and stinging and, 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 and stabbing me with these needles at the same time. Big needles, little needles, uh, medium-sized needles. Like, it was bad. So when winter came, y'all, it wound up starting to die down. I still remember. I was in the shower. I, I took a cold shower, and it, it wound up start dying down. As it's dying down, and as days went on and stuff, it's dying down more and more and more and more and more and more. From the, from the summertime to the wintertime, like I say, y'all, I, I got no more than about two to three hours of sleep every night. I was waking up eyes badly like uh, uh 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 bags under my eye badly people asking like man are you okay you, you don't look like you're okay oh it was bad y'all and like i said so when the winter came it, it, and it started dying down when it started dying down i'm getting i don't want to get too happy because anything could trigger it and anything it could just happen just like just it, whenever it wanted to happen it was just going so stop that so uh what happened y'all was i uh, it wound up dying down, dying, 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 and then it stopped. It started easing down and stopped. I, 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 me, I, I'm like, I don't want to jinx it, so I don't want to get excited and it happen again, because I'm like, if I go through this again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm broken. I won't be able to go through this again. That was a long time. I can't go every single day, every single second of my day felt like eternal hell all right we're gonna end this out here so i'm glad he's doing well i'm glad they're both doing well both from both the people in the story tonight um again don't trade on sophie t-shirts on sale i forgot the website and always stand with sophie but this was a little in-depth look into how Michael Long may think and feel in his new spiritualism. That's if he's still in that same Buddhism type of spiritualism. And these videos are to show some of the things his mind and body could have went through and his beginning journey to new age belief. Now, all of that is new age. Mysticism, mysticism, 
uh, Eastern mysticism, uh, New Age belief, Kundalini chakra, and third eye. But I'm going to get up out of here. This has been Awkward Cards for Awkward Entertainment, and I will see you in the next video.